Hi, this is Karthik from Design School by WP Algorithm.com. In this video, I'll show you how to renew the SSL certificate that is responsible for the padlock on your website, right? Now, I'll show you how to do this on a Digital Ocean website. If you haven't watched my previous video on how to do WordPress on Digital Ocean, a link to that tutorial will be in the description. But once you follow that tutorial, it's fairly simple. I'll also leave the link to the official documentation in the description please check that out all you need to do is to start with step 5 if you have followed my previous tutorial and in case you do not have a certificate itself you should start with step 4 which is sudo certbot apache but before doing that you need to start the terminal of your website now if you are on a mac or if you have a terminal application you can simply type ssh root at the rate the ip address of your droplet and you can log in and if you have ssh verification it's automatically logged in so i'll just type my ssh root at the rate my ip address and this is the shortcut i'll just hit enter from the terminal on my mac and i'll be logged in to my droplet once i'm logged in all you need to do is to go to step 5 and copy the command right it's just this single line, just copy this. And once you do that, it should look something like this. You see that the cert bot is automatically running twice a day, checking if there's any active certificate that is about to expire. It's actually renewed before time, right? So this is all that you need to do to make sure your certificate is renewed. And you can also quickly do a dry run with this command that they've provided in the documentation. Again, I'll open the terminal application on my Mac. I'll say SSH space WP algorithm. That's a shortcut for my whole SSH root at the rate IP address. Hit enter and that should take me into my website, right? Now my site is live. I can simply copy this dry run command and I can simply paste it. And once I do, it will perform a dummy run showing you if the renewal process is working or not. If you see any error, that means there's something wrong with the configuration. But if you followed my previous tutorial, nothing should be affected. It will work just fine. And this is all you need to do to renew SSL certificate on DigitalOcean websites. Quite simple. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, follow WordPress tutorial for beginners playlist on the channel to learn more.